Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabrock bringing you the best in esports. Today we have StarCraft 2, the CSL CSU versus the University of Pennsylvania set 1. This is going to be me at the bottom left as the purple Protoss, and at the top right we have Perifius. I'm just going to call him the Elder or the Green Zerg player. And he actually ran him, so I don't know that he's Zerg at the time, scouting probe going out at the right time. And instead of kind of casting this, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, um, you know, kind of analyze exactly what I do and where I mess up. First of all, this pylon is in a total wrong position. Don't know if you can put a building there. I think you can, but you'll see what happens with this pylon, unfortunately. And I go to that bottom right first should probably have scouted cross position just because I probably would have caught any type of scouting drone going out for the Zerg but unfortunately I did not I actually did not practice this map very much played it once before this map unfortunately as this is fighting spirit which is not a blizzard map it is an icut map that is based off of the uh, map fighting spirit from rude war gateway going down at 13 food Meanwhile, the Zerg player at 15 food, so it's going to go something like a 16 hatch. Very economic build, as he knows that there's so much space um, from each of these bases, especially because we are cross positions. He doesn't know that we're cross positions just yet. Here, his drone does move out, and I think I realize this. Try to scout in the base, see exactly what's going on. So we did see a 16 pool, not a 16 hatch. So it wants to be economic, but economic in a safe manner. Uh, drone scout coming in for the Zerg player, and now he's stealing my gas, which is a good move by him because against Zerg, I usually, um, most of the time, I try to go something like two gate voids and three gate, so three gate Stargate. Uh, and so it ends up being we have the Cybernetics Core at 15, and the Assimilator is down, so very standard play for me. Now we have a 15 hatch going down for the Zerg player. So he's going to be very far economically ahead if I don't put on some early pressure or don't expand myself. And that's a huge key. He did cancel that extractor, but what I really needed to do in this match is I needed to expand or put early pressure. Just like Day9 said in his daily, you either need to, you know, kind of cross expansion right away or you need to expand and kind of go techie. You can't really do stuff in the middle. And I think what I tried to do is something in the middle. Unfortunately, as much as I listen to Day9, um, I just kind of messed up and owned myself. Another gateway going down, that ex extractor being cancelled, putting my assimilator down so he doesn't take it again. Um, warp gate technology, I don't know if I mentioned that. Here, I'll bring up the protection tab, actually. Make it easier on you guys. So he is making a few zerglings, not really any, just two zerglings feels really safe and just is continuously droning up. Actually, not that good saturation in here spending a lot of his money on that hatch. He does have the queen out now at around, um, queen comes out at like 22 food, something like that for him. He transferred his drones just a little bit early, but it really doesn't matter that much. It's just a tad bit, actually a little bit of a misstep here, using that drone without uh, allowing it to bring back its resources, make it into a spine crawler, making two spine crawlers, feeling a little bit defensive. He wants to play a little bit defensive, maintain that, um, maintain that economic advantage and this is what I did see I thought that you could get through here I thought that this was an open block right there but no this is actually a bunch of rocks see it looks like trees it looks like you can get through there but this is actually a complete block off and so I have to do one of two things I have to either destroy my cybernetics core or my gateway and neither one of those I want to do so I do go for a three gate no stargate at 27 food and now I'm just like oh I don't know what to do my build order is all messed up and now I'm not panicking, but I'm feeling uneasy because I don't have a lot of um, what I want done. And that's a little bit of a disadvantage. He's also putting Zerglings at my front, absolutely wanting to know when I move out. I'm now destroying the gateway, and I thought that this was the better of two... Um, well, two bad things can happen. You know, I could either destroy the core or the gateway. I destroy, decided to destroy the core just because in case I needed to get some sentries out using the core, lastly, to build uh, one unit getting about one or two unit production out of it. But the last thing I really wanted to do was make it so I couldn't produce sentries and so I couldn't get a block off on the ramp. That's the absolute last thing I wanted to do. Now my Stargate is done and I'm building a Void Ray, but honestly I think that he's going to be ready for this. If he scouts it, he does only have one Queen at the moment, is building a second one, does have more Zerglings coming in. 
and I'm not in a bad position right now. As of right now, I'm not in a bad position. This probe is going to get picked off, unfortunately, for me. But honestly, this position I'm in isn't really that bad. And so he's got about 10 Zerglings, uh, four more coming in to make a total of 14. But, you know, as a Protoss player, we saw when uh, Day9, I know I referenced Day9 a lot, coming in here, trying to get past, and building a sentry just way too late. Here comes more of the Zerglings, able to pick off that sentry, going to be able to pick off a few of my probe if we look at the units lost tab. I am just in a divot with 925 resources in units lost, which is absolutely terrible. That number climbing and climbing and climbing the void ray, trying to do some damage, but unable to do so. Not really using my Chrono Boost to the fullest extent that I could uh, either for more Zerglings at the front. And really, he's just making Zerglings. Uh, continuing making Zerglings now has his Hydralis Den out. Uh, it's kind of funny because all these players from University of Pennsylvania all loved Hydralis, all the Zerg players, and we played like three Zergs or something like that. Uh, and they all, I think we all, we just completely played Zergs. Oh no, there was a Protoss in the mix as well, but if you think about it, um, all these players really, really liked going Hydra. First Hydralis now out for him as well. In terms of upgrades, no upgrades for him. At the same time, no upgrades for me. So both of us not doing the best job on our upgrades. My minerals are low if we look at the resources. Uh, both of us are keeping our resources fairly low, which is very good. It looks like I might be pushing out for an attack here. And so I'm going to be able to pick off that Zergling Phoenix now out as well and so I was gonna try to go for maybe a two pronged attack maybe try to get into this mineral line or maybe back here but he's really really well covered especially because he has seen that um, Stargate and he knows that you know void rays or phoenixes are coming out so this right here really hurt me killing having to kill that gate make another gate and right now I really need to expand I probably should just sit back and let things go by themselves and expand because here comes those Hydralis almost able to pick off that Phoenix not quite able to but that Phoenix did take a fair amount of damage but honestly this force could maybe with good micro take this force probably not now that he's reinforced with so many Hydras also has spine crawlers at the front so with those spine crawlers I'm not gonna be able to re to attack him looks like I am backing up but probably gonna try to pick off some units at the same time with these void rays and I was thinking yeah maybe I can do a little bit of harassment keep him back keep him back keep him back um, but I mean you'll see what exactly what happens looks like he's moving in here with some zerglings that I actually didn't catch the first time making an expansion that's probably the right move but then he's going to see this gonna know that I'm vulnerable gonna actually run up this ramp and look at this fail in force field oh fail force field fail if I would have just put it right there would have been absolutely fine but instead he gets all up in my mineral line. I do pull probes fairly quickly, doing a nice job, but not pulling all of them, unfortunately, doing a bad job in that, not even using these while I'm getting attacked. So not doing the best job, am attacking with probes, but honestly, I just need just those little things, little tiny things that are just messing me up, man. Uh, this expansion is about halfway done. Really need to move in with this Phoenix and Void Ray army because I mean I think I could poke around here do some damage just micro back and forth keep him at his base for uh, at least a little while but looks like I'm gonna move here to this choke point which this choke is just absolutely like critical man it's so easy to hold that choke although you can come from this other side looks like I'm trying to do some damage but that gets cleaned up fairly quickly unfortunately for me uh, by the Hydralis army now I'm going to be scouting Alright, let's see if I can do this. Yes. Yes, I got it. So now I'm going to be scouting his base a little bit with this Phoenix. Uh, there we go. So yeah, now scouting with that Phoenix. But now I'm pretty far behind. I've been at one base pretty much this whole time, unfortunately. And, you know, that's just going to hurt me in the long run because I don't really have units. Oh, I forgot about that pylon that I placed there just in case I went in for attack. He is researching the Hydralis range as well as... Uh, range attack 1 and carapace 1 so it does have that double evo chamber and pretty soon this is just going to be out of hand I'm not going to be able to contend with it I do have that um, I do have that second base up but it's really not going to be enough especially when he's macroing just so much Zerglings coming in to try to fight this yet again but I think I'm going to be okay just with this block here I did put the forge at the good position so this choke is very good and you'll see with this next engagement that I do do a good engagement and 
So I pretty much lost this game already. I, and gosh, this is why I've lost this game. It's because I keep letting my probes die to freaking zerglings. That pissed me off so much that they were just absolutely able to bypass my entire army somehow. And just absolutely own me. If we look at the income tab, you can see that he is pretty much double and almost triple in the in the mineral uh, I mean in the Vespine gas count I don't have either geyser I believe yeah I don't have either geyser which is really unfortunate he's just making roaches and hydras and getting a huge army out and I don't have a whole lot if I would have gone Colossus or something but I wanted to go for that Templar tech you know because I just saw some um, I just saw Huck for some some other player and he was owning with Templar and I was like well I might as well go Templar and he contaminates my Stargate but yeah I was like you know that worked out pretty well might want to do that and so I was gonna go for that Templar tech you can see making the well I'm going to be making it pretty soon but Tumor Gate was going down meanwhile but pretty soon I put down that Templar archives want to get my upgrades this is very late uh, weapons won't upgrade unfortunately if you look at the uh, uh, Harvesters, uh, 42 to 32, not where you want to be as a Protoss player playing a Zerg, and so he's just been ahead this entire time, coming in for a big attack, and he's going to be attacking with not only his 100 and whatever food, but a lot more food as well, putting up a cannon, probably going to try to put up another cannon, if I recall, try to put up another cannon right there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I just have the slowest reaction time in the history of the world. Now finally putting up the cannon. And here's where my engagement is pretty decent. I'm able to split the army very, very well. And, you know, use that guardian shield. But it's just not enough. It's really not enough. If I would have had a few more forces. And see, there's two more good force fields, you know, able to funnel those forces in. But it's just I don't have the meat. I don't have enough forces and he's just got so much he's gonna be able to stream in forces like crazy and I'm actually able to fight this off I believe just by some miraculous uh, turn of events but he's just absolutely streaming in forces using my probes to attack and this isn't the engagement that lost me the battle and that's so important to remember like day nine says it's not always the last thing that happened like I controlled this engagement fairly well it's gonna be hard for anyone to argue with me that I didn't do that I used my force fields well I had my zealots in the front my sentries got picked off a little bit early but honestly I think I, I used that force field and that you know just the map the map uh, features very very well here is a little bit of poor engagement my zealots are caught in the back but it's just the fact that I didn't expand early enough. I tried to do something a little bit in the middle, and sorry for the frame rate issues. Holy cow, that was bad. But I just tried to go in the middle, and it didn't work out for me, unfortunately. I should have expanded earlier or gone in for an all-out attack. Probably used my void rays better, microed a little bit better, kept him at bay, but unfortunately I'm going to lose this game. And I know I kind of spoiled it from the get-go, telling you guys, uh, well, just pretty much having the attitude like I lost. But I just really, instead of a big commentary, I just wanted to kind of analyze this game and why I lost. It's just because I tried to go, one, for too much different type of techie stuff. You can see I went for Ar for Templar and Twilight Council slash Void Phoenix Zealot Stalker Sentry Weird thing and also I just you know didn't expand and I didn't push too hard I just kind of in the middle failure of force field failure of building this base right here failure of getting my probes killed time after time and if we look at the units loss it's just like I'm double of what he has which is unfortunate so that's game we're gonna go into set four actually because sets two and three we're both forfeits, <laughs> and that's how it worked out. Each team forfeited, um, like they forfeited set two, and we forfeited set three, just because people were shaky. So we'll go on to there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment below if I missed anything and other advice. Thanks, GG, Lates.